let me show y'all how my morning started. Oh, shit. Why are you still talking to me? You don't understand that this, this shit is hard as fuck. Like, this shit is one of the hardest programs to be in. Like, girl, you the baddest in the room. Fuck the mother bitch. You know what to do. Put that what is up y'all welcome back to the vlog to my channel um it's later in the day from the last vlog y'all um it's currently three o'clock i am waiting on my one of my um friends to get to the rest or oh, i'm talking about the restaurant like y'all so we're going on a little like lunch date um so she should be here shortly i'm waiting on her to get here and then we can go in we at Texas Roadhouse. Y'all know that's my favorite restaurant. I love day rolls. So, um, we're going to get some lunch. Y'all have seen Jasmine before. We met in school. So, um, hopefully y'all will get to see her again if she feel like being on camera. But I'll definitely bring y'all in. But yes, y'all. Today was the last day of, um med surge one um it was really just a, a boot camp um escape room that we did for nursing a nursing escape room which was fun um we competed against two different two other cohorts we came second place so yeah my mom is in my ear y'all she always talking. She still she been talking this whole time. I've been talking. I got her on mute. Anyway, so um once she get here, um I'll probably come back on the camera. Girl. Oh my gosh, I look so Hi <laughs> Yes, Jasmine's back, y'all. Shoot, we ain't seen her in forever. I know. I'm so happy we got to see each other. We're gonna meet up next month. I mean, no, that's still, that's this month. That is this month, that's In crazy. two weeks, or two or three weeks. And we're gonna go and have some fun. So y'all will see that. My hair gonna be done in. <laughs> mm -hmm. But yes, y'all, we had a good time. I didn't want to bring out the camera because we have not seen each other in forever. So we was just, you know, catching up. But yes. Bye guys. Good morning, my people. I sound a little, probably a little rusty, but good morning, my people, 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 people. So y'all, we are in semester four officially. Oh, y'all, I'll go ahead and um reveal my GPA because it just changed today. So I'll do that with y'all now. But we are now officially in semester three of nursing school. So we are we juniors now? We are officially juniors. So, um, well, I, well, hold on. Cause this semester four, I guess you could say we're juniors because we're not seniors yet. I guess we would be considered juniors. We have six more terms left, six more five week terms left. We have four more. Well, four of those six terms are just nursing classes. So we got four more nursing, oh Lord. But um, let me show y'all how my morning started. Oh, shit. This is how my morning started, y'all. Because I'm with all these females. So my period is like, do, 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 do. Now, I knew that I wasn't pregnant. But me and my boyfriend had this conversation. And I was like, I got to take a pregnancy test because he pissed me off. But anyway we don't need no kids right now and i knew i was impregnant but my period is late so yeah but anyway so i was like let me just go ahead and take this test this morning and just you know make sure but um i knew that i was not pregnant we're not hold up <laughs> y'all know this shit be changing but i took it like fucking um oh but i took it yeah, no, I'm not pregnant, y'all. Mm, see, yeah, no. Mm -mm. All right, so let me wash my hands now that I touched that. Um, but yes, yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and do a GP. I just, I'm gonna go ahead and do a GPA reveal for y'all, cause I'm excited to find out what my GPA is, y'all. Y'all know 
that I want. Um, damn, I ain't got no hip towel. Hold on. Y'all know that I want to be <clears throat> on the, I want to graduate with honors, not be on, but I want to graduate with honors. Um, so every term y'all, I check my GPA. Shh, Asher, shh. We still got time to go outside. Damn. Damn, I, I hate having so many like. Um, excuse me. I hate having so many um, emails. Every time I get on this one, I be putting in my work or either my um, personal email because those are really sort of the same. But, all right, let's see if I'm still on the um, in <laughs> honors. Okay, yes. Hold the fuck up now. Now, okay, so it said I had got a B plus on my last, um, in my last class. I gotta look at this. I wonder how do I, I'm gonna have to look on the website. Well, either way. Okay, so my GPA before this was a 3.66. So now it's a 3.62. Either way, it would have um only dropped four points, even if it was that A that A minus. I hate y'all that I didn't have, get an A in that class. <sighs> in maternity, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how that's gonna go. But we, let me show y'all. So we are 59% done with the program. That's my GPA. If y'all can see it. And that's what I got in the class. So generally, I thought that before I've gotten an 89 and it's been an A. So maybe with that class it changed. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, I'm so tired. Y'all, but it is what it is. As long as that shit ain't dropped too low. Like that is pretty low to keep honors though. I ain't gonna lie. I'm gonna need to pull some A's in at least probably two of these fucking um next four nursing classes honestly y'all i can probably do it in peach and um in peace and ob before i can do it in med search and um med search two and um what's that other class um acute care i don't know about that I mean, I, it's possible because I might be like, you know, in that bliss of this is my last nursing class. So, um, I might just try as hard as I can, you know what I'm saying? Um, but I do still have my two classes after that. And I hope to make an A in those, but those are going to be like, like our unit exams because we still have unit exams in those classes. Did I, a, did I miss two damn braids? But um, in those unit exams, y'all, I might get. Um, I don't know. It's it's just. Oh, what was I saying? Yes, we still have unit exams once we go into. Um, <clears throat> I must have did it too high. But um, we still have unit exams, you guys. Once we get to those. Um, dimensional classes those NCLEX prep classes we have exams but it's over everything um but hopefully you know it's like a book of them refreshing I think the first one though is over like um leadership so it'll be over something different but then the last one I think it's over um it's over the like um what was I saying? Okay, the last class, I think it's over, like, everything type thing. So, yeah. Um, that's something to look forward to. Um, and I'm, frankly, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Because once we get down to those classes, it's really, like, either you know it or you don't. And where's my work? 
it's either like you know it you know it or you don't and by then you should know it fucking enough you should know it fucking enough and yes y'all i still utilize my ipad it is the best investment i've ever made now it's saying full storage i gotta delete some pictures y'all that's all that is <clears throat> but what was i about to do i was looking to see if my pen is about to die so I, if i need that charger we on 73 we sh it should get us through class um got my laptop my cord and this one this book so this is the ati book we're in now y'all but yeah so i'm gonna go ahead and finish getting my bag ready i got my lunch bag ready y'all i'm not eating out anymore i can't afford it like um yeah <clears throat> that's what it is i can't afford that shit it's too expensive to be eating out every day because i've literally this is my day eight in a row of either being at school or work um i was doing 14 days straight I consider that working 14 days straight and I'm sure y'all do too because y'all my nursing school besties you know and don't nobody understand like we understand like no one understands y'all I hate even talking to my boyfriend about it because it's like you don't under fucking stand like leave me the fuck alone you don't understand like you don't you don't understand why are you still talking to me you don't understand that this this shit is hard as fuck like this shit is one of the hardest programs to be in like shit is hard and you don't understand you will never understand no this is not like when you were in school it's completely different like y'all i be getting so upset when we be talking about these things because i just be like you think that you this is just like when you were in school or you did just because you worked two jobs while you were in school obviously it wasn't that motherfucking hard bitch well not bitch my boyfriend but because I would never disrespect him like that, chat. But it be like that just with anybody because it's like people don't be understanding how hard this shit is. And only people that's going through it, went through it, understand. <clears throat> I will say it's, it's not that bad to get through, but it is hard. It is fucking hard. And I don't have any pens. Oh, I do have one in my pocket, but all right um i think i have everything and i know that i've um mentioned this to y'all before nurse sugar's um nursing school book um it's really like with all her notes type of thing i really like it but um i ain't gonna lie i haven't been able to really use it like that um i think if you are into using all these extra tools definitely purchase it it has a lot of information um, it definitely helped me through Concepts 3, because I think that's when I got the book, at the end of Farm. Yeah, Concepts 3, it helped me with, it didn't help me with Path, though, because um, I really just used the resources through school. Um, what class did I have after Path, though? Mental Health? I had Mental Health after Path, though. Um, I don't think I, I think I might have peaked at it in Mental Health. And then med surge one, I didn't, I didn't look at it. I also have nursing, nur, um, nurse Mike. I also have nursing making bundle, um, that somebody gave me. A couple people actually gave it to me. Um, I got the newer one and then I got the older one. Um, didn't look at those either. Not gonna lie. Um, I used my resources for school last term. Um. Use your resources with school is what I'm saying. <laughs> you don't need all them extra fucking things. I really bought it to support a, a nurse of, of, of color. You know, I, I support, obviously I support nurses of all colors if I purchased the other two people. But like, did I already put hers in there? These are mine. Those need to go to clinical. Um, but yes, that's why I bought it, to support her. And um, definitely it's some information that can really help you. Um, oh, I got to walk Asher. But um, for me, I ain't going to lie. I really, you don't need that stuff. 
you do not need that stuff you can get through with just what your school provides now i will say if anything purchase nurse mike and purchase it with several different people like it's like 10 of us that purchased it together we purchased the year it was 240 it was like only 20 dollars a piece i think i ended up paying more because people fell out or whatever but um because it was under my name but yeah purchase the nurse mike simple mice sim simple mice simple nurse simple nursing is the best thing to purchase because it's videos and study guides did i get a broke juice box um it's videos which if you're if you are a um visual learner if you are a kinesthetic learner which that's like hands-on so it really don't matter but if you are that type of learner and it's hard for you to learn with them books girl get that simple nursing that has helped me the most i have utilized that every term faithfully um except for concepts three i don't think we had it in concepts three but i used it in farm it got me through farm it got me through um i was just need to go um, it got me through farm. It got me through concepts three. <clears throat> I will say y'all though, concepts three, I almost felt that bitch. Um, <laughs> really it was cause of the final. I wasn't failing in the beginning, but I almost failed on the final because I had to pee so bad and she wouldn't let me go to the bathroom. That's long story short child. But anyway, <clears throat> and when you got to pee, make sure y'all empty y'all bladders before the exams. Because when you got to pee, you just say, fuck it. Like you clicking through, you're not really clearly reading because you not wanting to take your time because you got to go to the damn bathroom. And it wasn't no just, I have to use the restroom. No, I had to use the restroom like bad, real bad. But anyway, <clears throat> um, yeah. So that's my little tips of the morning, y'all. I'm talking way too much. Might have to cut this, but I will see y'all in class. What's up, y'all? Yes, I'm in my robe. So that means that I never recorded earlier because I didn't. Y'all, it wasn't nothing to record. All it was is lecture, and it wasn't. Y'all, I left my fucking lunch bag at home. So I had to buy something out to eat. Pissed me off. Set the whole day off. Then, um, or did something else happen before then? Because I feel like I forgot something else. It was my lunch. Oh, that don't really. But y'all, I forgot to cash out yesterday on Instacart. So then that shit don't deposit in my account until fucking Wednesday. So yeah, <laughs> that started off the morning. And then I realized I didn't have my damn lunch. <sighs> so today was not a great day <clears throat> because of those couple of things. Because I did not want to have to buy food out to damn eat. I did not want to do that. Like, I'm trying to eat in the house. Like, I'm not trying to be spending money to eat out. And then I ended up going Instacart. And after I got off of work, I mean, school, because of that simple fact that that happened with the check or whatever, it was just deposited. So I went Instacart in to make some money. And um, now I'm home starting to study. Lecture was not lecturing. Um... It was giving teach yourself. <laughs> it was giving you gonna have to teach yourself. That's what it was giving. But we'll see. We go back tomorrow. Tomorrow we were supposed to be going to um clinical. That was canceled. So they will not cancel. It was switch around on our schedule. So we are not gonna have clinical this week. Uh, we'll be going to um class tomorrow instead and having that as a lecture day um so yeah that happened which i'm i'm happy about because i we get to be a weekend before we have to go to the clinical site and we'll fill out the teacher more and stuff like that um so yeah what else i don't think nothing nothing else really happened y'all um right now i'm just studying just taking notes um and 
yeah i'm just about to go try to go over this chapter before i get ready to go to my boyfriend house and then um yeah so i will keep y'all updated um i really just don't have much updates for y'all today but um oh that's the update our our exam our first exam is actually on monday i mean this friday is monday so in four days we having the first exam good morning y'all my people so today is december the 14th and i am currently getting ready to go to class we have a boot camp thing today I'm assuming it's just we'll be do, going over practicing um, like IVs, um, catheters. I don't think we're going to do NG tubes because we're in OB. I, I don't think that'll be um, necessary to go over, but whatever it is, we're going to be going over stuff that we learn in concepts. I believe that that's what it is. So um first i want to say shout out to the people who have been uh, noticing me this past week from my channel um i know one girl name is brianna i think her name is brianna um it's so crazy because i was instacarting y'all and she messaged me after i dropped off her order and was like hey you know um she said hey um, I watched your YouTube channel like I was trying to catch you before you left. I was like, oh, hey. I was like, it's so crazy because it's like, I never imagined meeting somebody like through um, Instacarton, through even working. Like, I never imagined that happening per se. So that was really um, cool. That was cool as fuck. <laughs> So shout out to her and shout out to two of my, um, I don't want to say classmates because they're not in my cohort. One girl I met, she's in, she's about to graduate. One woman I met, she's about to graduate. Um, so shout out to her. I didn't get her name, um, but we had that sim lab. Was it a sim or that was an escape room. We were... It was three different teams and she was one of the opposite teams um the i think she's in the senior class so she's about to graduate congratulations to her and then the other girl i met um she is i think she was at our school to take her um t's exam so shout out to her and congratulations girl because i know you passed and you will be entering into the um nursing program um soon i'm sure so um shout out to them thank you for like y'all can always walk up to me even if i look like you know don't walk up to me because i'm really a nice person as y'all probably can feel the vibes from the camera i'm really a nice person but i do have um a disorder called the resting bitch, bitch face y'all i've always had that i'm always looking crazy like so if you feel like i'm looking crazy be like hey girl you said you said you be looking crazy so i know you ain't mad i'm never upset not at school unless i'm pissed off about the teacher which y'all let me give y'all that update <sighs> i usually post these weekly or well, i'm trying to be consistent and post this sunday I don't want to speak bad on my teacher. She's a really nice lady. She's a really nice lady. I really like her as a person. But with OB, it's different. Because throughout the beginning of the classes, nursing classes, you're learning the same shit really over and over, to be honest. You're, you're at least going over something you've been over or something you know about already. But OB, you don't talk about OB at all in those previous classes. Like, for us, we ain't talked about that shit at all is what I'm noticing. Like, only time we talked about it is in dosage. But before dosage, like in concepts, in any of the concepts, in patho, and med search, we didn't talk about pregnant people or, or newborns. So, this is all new. 
So if people fail this class, I can see how you fail this damn class because you really don't see this damn information until that class. And imagine we only learn this information in four weeks. And this is all new information. Like this first test is over seven chapters, y'all. Now granted, the first like three chapters are really like stuff that will be common sense. It's really like, it's, it's basic stuff. It's that basic stuff y'all always learn in the beginning of a class. Damn, our first exam is tomorrow. We started this class Monday. Our first exam, did we start it Monday? Yeah, we started it Monday. Our first exam is Friday. Which it was like that last term. But that exam was different. It was med surge and it's stuff that we already damn went over. So it was not that hard. You feel me? Like it wasn't hard. Like that stuff fully was everything. Like med surge, we went over everything. We've seen all of med surge previously because med surge is an extension a more in depth of patho and fucking concepts if you want to be real med surge is concepts and patho that's what the fuck it is that i, I can't even tell you no more about med surge if you don't know if you ain't been through med surge med surge is not that hard it is really if you really think about it it's stuff you've already fucking seen Oh, B baby, we ain't seen none of this shit before. And now I'm gonna just leave that there. And I just pray to make it through this class, y'all. I just pray to make it through this class, y'all. I'm not long like I'm I'm really praying that I make it through because whew, Jesus take the wheel. Now in any type of nursing program is what I'm saying is you have to teach yourself because you do especially in this program. You have to teach yourself. They don't have enough time to teach everything and go over everything. They don't. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna blame that on the teacher. They don't have enough time to do all of that. So you have to teach yourself. If you plan on getting a program like this, you gotta teach yourself. And I'm gonna tell you one thing: them hardest classes to pass is the beginning nurse classes, concepts one through um, patho. Those are the hardest classes. When you get to the specialties, you can breathe a little bit because you are on a one class a term instead of having multiple classes. If you don't have your prereqs. y'all pray for me good morning my people so i it is my it's friday it's test day um so today i don't know how it's gonna go to be honest i am going to give y'all like a what i think i'm gonna make i want to make at least an 80 i'm gonna say i'm gonna at least make a 75 a comebackable grade okay because I was not able to really study like that, y'all. Um, I worked Wednesday. Like, I was able to study last night, though. I, after class, I came home and I started studying. But, you know, it's not always good to study the day before, especially on information that you really haven't seen. But as I was going through the um, <clears throat> prep you questions and even, like, going through because I would go through the prep you questions if I don't know something I'm going to the book and I'm looking you know and I went through all of the definitions and stuff like that so <clears throat> yeah um I found that if you do know the definitions especially for OB if you know the what stuff means it will help you in your questions so I did my terms first then I did those prep use um and as I was doing the terms I had to like look and read a little bit more in detail and stuff like that so that helped me when it came to the prep you questions um so i feel like that was beneficial um yeah i just hope that you know that was good enough for this first exam she said that the first exam is usually the easiest so we'll see um it is some stuff that's kind of review so <clears throat> even when I was going through the prep you questions it wasn't too bad like the questions weren't too bad if if you didn't read the whole chapter or whatever like I was able to kind of figure it out or narrow it down <clears throat> excuse me but um 
yeah so we'll see how it goes i'll let y'all know i probably i'm definitely not gonna take my camera it's probably not gonna be anything to record at school today because she's just gonna do a review and then we're gonna take our exam and leave so yeah um so i hope the review helps up y'all so i'm back from class um i came home because i had some boxes at my door that's the only reason why i'm here um and i wanted to go ahead and put these those in the house y'all i ordered some stuff from wayfair y'all so i'll show that to y'all but i know y'all probably want to hear how did my first ob exam go y'all and y'all see i'm fucking smiling i ain't upset i ain't complaining i ain't uh-uh i'm happy so what that mean i did good right okay so <laughs> On this first exam for OB, I got an 85.6 as of now. That's our fresh raw score. It's not her going over the questions and making sure they're fair and um, um, any mistakes. She had one mistake, so I should, once she put in that, that should be two points. And that should take me up to an 87 um, once she changed that one question because it was a, a math question um, that was it was weird it was something was wrong with the question and we weren't able weren't able to answer it how it's supposed to be answered we weren't able to give the right answer so in those type of cases they would have to like um return the points or whatever or they they could put the information on the board you know what i'm saying like if it it just depends on what type of question it is because usually somebody raised their hand and be like hey this don't look right um but this wasn't even a question you could even do that for. So, um, if information is missing, they'll put the information what you what's supposed to be asked in the question up on the board, and then you can answer it properly. But, um, yeah. So, we'll probably get in that point back. Um, I honestly feel like the rest of the questions were fair. Um, this is the one teacher. Y'all know how I was like, I don't know about this teacher. I like her, but I don't know but um i like that she proved today when she say something she mean it like trust her word like she literally told us we talked about everything that is on this exam we talked about it and she was not lying she wasn't lying we did talk about everything that she had on there like it might have been a couple things maybe but that we might not have even gone in detail, but she maybe have, have brushed over or something like that. She said something about it. We heard, I heard, I personally have heard majority of the stuff that's on that damn exam. I heard it. Now, whether I remembered what she said or not, you know, I don't know. <laughs> I don't even remember the questions at this point. But um, it was a good exam, y'all. It was a good exam, especially for the first exam. It was really a good exam. Um, but yeah let me get into what i bought y'all these are my christmas gifts i honestly forgot about christmas and i was ordering shit from wayfair so i ordered me a new couch um i wanted a new couch because <laughs> i can't lounge on my couch i have this white leather and excuse all of this that's something that i just unpacked from wayfair but i have this white couch which i'm trying to sell for like 400 um i actually purchased this sectional from wayfair I purchased it like a year and a half ago for fourteen, fifteen hundred dollars. Yes, it's overpriced because y'all know Wayfair is overpriced unless y'all get stuff on sale, which majority of the time I get stuff on sale. Like the stuff that I got this time was all on sale. Every single thing was on sale. So um, my sectional that I got this time is bigger than this one. It's like a little bit wider. So we'll see how that fits. Um, I got new bar stools. I forgot I got new bar stools until just now when I was thinking about how the little space I got right here. But I got new bar stools because um, my boyfriend said I had cheap ass bar stools after I told him he had his cheap ass comforter. But <laughs> but no, I, I've been really wanting to replace my bar stools for a minute. I just have those white bar stools that everybody had from Amazon. Yeah. So I've been wanting to get rid of those and match it with the de decor, which since I had a white couch now, it kind of was just like, you know, I'll just keep them since my couch is white. But I just got a new couch and that couch is gray like the rest of my furniture and my dining room chairs are gray. So I went ahead and got bar stools that sort of match. They match the color of my dining room 
chairs. I actually wanted some that matched the actual chair, but they had this lion face on the back of them. And I was like, I don't like that lion thing. Like the hook that is on the back of them, I wanted those, but they were out of stock for the color I needed. So um, I just got the ones I got with without the um, hook on the back. But I bought me an air fryer because I needed a new one, y'all. <laughs> So it's so cute y'all oh my gosh it's, it's bigger too but this is my old one y'all i got dishes in the sink so don't don't judge but this is my old one y'all see it's all dusty and i'm gonna make sure to keep the other one clean honestly i never even noticed it was this dusty until just now but um i got that one for my cousin and then this is the one i bought so it's more um up, it's an upgrade and this is the company brand um and then i also bought a um steamer because i've been every time i get on amazon i'm like i need to get this steamer i need to get this steamer and i don't get the steamer so i went ahead and bought a steamer i also brought bought that um what is that thing called the brush that's viral on tiktok right now um with the extender on it for the to clean your bathtub and stuff like that i bought that because i have a hard time with cleaning the tub i clean it but i have a hard time with my back especially when i'm giving Asher a bath and then i have to clean the tub right after so it's like my back already be hurting from giving him a bath but then i have to clean the tub and my tub is huge like i have a big garden tub and it's just so hard to like and i'd rather have something that i can scrub it with um so i bought that which it was it wasn't that bad i think it was 20 something dollars and then i bought the steamer and then i also bought a new knife set which i'm like what is it okay wait a minute. but i bought a new knife set um i like the one with the block i had i did say i wanted the one with um the clear stand where all of them are like this like a fanned out but i ain't seen none that i liked on wayfair because since i was buying everything else from wayfair i wanted to buy everything on wayfair it is a few items that i'm buying from amazon um i did buy a new comforter set too which i'm not gonna show y'all because i mean well i guess i could show y'all one day but it's not really like my room ain't clean for me to show y'all now um for my like you know, i got clothes i need to fold but um yeah so the comforter set is amazing oh my gosh i got it on sale it's originally like a hundred and something but i got it for 70 um and then i also put in a, a coupon code to y'all so it took like 200 and like 39 dollars off of my whole order um but yeah i prefer these these y'all with the block i prefer these i think this looks really I don't know I don't know it's some things you don't need to change but yeah um uh I think that's all I got I think I told y'all everything oh and I bought a new mirror I bought a new mirror um I bought a a full length mirror it's huge y'all like i think it's bigger than the mirror i got in my living room my mirror in my living room is big it's the one from ikea that was popular this shit is big but the other mirror it don't have like a frame like it has a, a little frame like a black frame around it but it's not like framed in and that mirror oh my gosh i cannot wait till that come and that comes tomorrow i think the 16th yeah there's some stuff that comes tomorrow so i think that's one of the items that come and y'all when i tell y'all that mirror is nice it is huge it's um like six feet by 30 inches so it's really big um oh i bought a um new entertainment center i guess it's not really an entertainment center to me it's like it's a, it got a fireplace in it so i bought that um yeah y'all i i went a little 
I did a little much. I did a little much because I'm in nursing school, y'all. Like, I don't ever get to get myself anything or anything like that. And I was just like, fuck it. Like, I want something that's gonna make me happy. <laughs> I mean, because I have to be in the house all the fucking time. I'm, I'm, I'm always in my bed because I got my bed earlier this year. So it's about a year old and I love my bed. So I'm always in my fucking bed. And I'm like, I want to be on my couch. So let me look and see what they got going on, what type of deals. And they have all these holiday specials. I also got a mix and bowl too, because I've been wanting to get one of those, but I never have gotten one. So I went ahead and got that. And then I got a new trash can, because my trash can is broke. The step thing is broke on the back. Pisses me off. I went all the way to Atlanta to get this trash can. No, I got it in Atlanta, y'all. For some reason, I don't know. And I'm just ranting right now. So if y'all want to skip along, y'all can. But yeah, I got that trash can in Atlanta at DD's when we didn't have a DD's here. Um, and trash cans are expensive. So when I saw that one for like $25, $28 or something like that, I grabbed it. It was black and it had the step thing. But this one, y'all, I went high tech this time. I got the little motion one. <sighs> So yeah, and and that was on sale. I think I got it for 50 something after the discount. Um, but it was on sale for 60, but I got it for like 50 something. I mean, you know, at Target, the step one is 60 or $80. Like, so yeah, I got that. I think that's everything. I told y'all everything. I got some pillows for my bed and for um out here on the couch, but I don't think one of the sets of pillows ain't gonna match either one. But I got those because I had been wanting those. But it's not going to match anything. So I'm like, and they already shifted. I should have canceled it because it's not going to match. It's white pillows with a pattern. But my couch is, um, it's got, it, my couch is ribbed. And then my comforter is like, it has, it's kind of ribbed. I guess you can consider it ribbed. It's not evenly ribbed, but it's like lines. But the pillows, two sets of the pillows are ribbed in a certain pattern. And I think it'll match my bed or the couch. But the other pillows is not going to match. It might. I'm going to try it out on the couch and see how it go. But it's some pillows I've been wanting for the longest. And if they don't work out, I'm going to just use them as like a pillow and then put get um the pillow covers for them. But yeah, y'all, I just been shopping. It's a media center is, is what it's called. Um, the thing I bought with the fireplace. I cannot wait to get that. It's mirrored, y'all. And I know I need to get away from mirrored stuff because it's really not in anymore. But I just love mirrored items. I'm I love mirrors in my house all throughout my house, y'all. But yeah, that's enough for this rent, y'all. I need to get to work because I've been spinning and I need to be making. <laughs> so I'm about to go Instacart. I'm just happy that I got an 80. Did I ever tell y'all my grade? Oh, I hope I did. But I got an 86 or an 85.6, um, which rounds up to 86. But I got an 85.6 and it should go up a couple points. So, yeah, I did tell y'all that. I remember saying that now. Um, and um, now I can see the class average. I wasn't able to tell y'all the class average or who got the lowest or not who got the lowest, but what the lowest grade and what the highest grade was before. So the highest grade on this exam was a 91.3. I think the um, average was a 82.6, I think. And then the lowest was a 71 point something. But all of that is comebackable like you want to like um just know like people can come back from this that's why i tell y'all what the range what the average was and what i get because i want y'all to know like this shit is comebackable you can get a 71 on an exam and come back from it y'all know i've gotten a 71 on an exam come hell i've gotten a a 60 well i that i wouldn't say i came back from that because that ended up being changed and it ended up coming out higher but i've i've had classmates that come back from a 62 61 it's comebackable y'all don't don't get yourself in a frit like you can come back and that's the reason why i tell y'all these averages and these grades not to talk down on anybody or anything like that because 
I've been the lowest grade before and I well that was only on the final so it wasn't nothing I could come back from but I did the work in the beginning to where I had that opportunity where I could just not do so well and it'd be okay that's why you want to try to do um try to get as high as you can on every exam try to make sure just make sure you study and you know ask your to teacher for help attend all tutoring sessions we have a tutoring session today which i don't know how i think it's really on just be over like um general topics missed not the questions but just a overview of what we may have not done so well on a topic we may not have done so well on so i'm gonna try to attend that that starts at two in less than an hour so i'm trying to think should i even go out instacarton or should i just clean up until then i probably will just clean up until then i was gonna go instacarton y'all but i'm like ain't nothing really popping up i mean it's definitely busy it's not slow right now but um since it's that tutoring session i think it's from two to three and three to four is what she said on there i thought it was from two two to four but it's like she said it's from two to three and three to four so like as if if you can't make one you can attend the other hour so i might just go ahead and attend it and um just get myself changed and ready to go instacart afterwards um this was a long rant i hate that for myself in editing all right y'all so i'm gonna just go ahead and end off the vlog because i forgot like this is the end of the week um it's friday nothing else is gonna happen school related all i'm gonna be doing tomorrow is studying and um i'm gonna be at work so i'm gonna be studying i'll be able to be up front as long as no one calls out um so i'll be able to read the chapters upcoming chapters um so that's what i'll be doing tomorrow nothing fancy um and then Sunday I'm off so I'll get to cleaning my house y'all Ooh, I love having the day off so I can clean um so I'm gonna clean up and I'm gonna study I'm hopefully I can read all the chapters tomorrow while I'm at work and then I can like work on like nurse mic um look look at some nurse mic information um tomorrow I mean Sunday I probably will end up instacarting even though I don't want to but I need to so I, I will probably end up Instacart on Sunday. So I won't have a day off. Oh, that sucks. That's sad. But yeah, I want to end off this vlog, y'all. I hope y'all enjoyed. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Okay? And if y'all see me in person, make sure y'all say hey, girl. <laughs> All right, y'all. Bye.